is how I smooth out the jumps. <laughs> Stop them down a little bit. Some of these dirt claws out of the way. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. I've got my granite and my typhon head to head on my little workbench here. I'm just going to go over a few things about the typhon and, and then get it out for a little run and see how good it can do off some jumps. Oftentimes I'll mount a camera mount to like, you know, for like a GoPro to the top of a body or something and, you know, glue it on or even screw it down or whatever. But Bodies not on not on the Typhon so much, but most of my other cars they just rattle around too much and it gets picked up by the camera. Um, so on the Typhon, something kind of unique about it is there's two holes here for your body post, but they're not needed because the body doesn't come up this far. So those two holes work perfect if you want to make like a a camera mount. I, I mean I just did something really cheap, but it works really good because this thing, man, it. It goes in so tight but anyways you can even run your set screws in on both sides i mean i'm not even all the way down in there there i'm in now that thing's not going anywhere honestly it's not going anywhere and it's not going to wobble around that that's the problem with mounting your cameras to their bodies they, they wobble around now I, I don't know if some some people like to have their vehicle in view of the camera part of it maybe the tires or something like that i don't i don't really like doing it that way uh, just not not something I like to do. I'd rather just see what's ahead of me. But, um, yeah, I mean, getting this thing out is a real nightmare. But you could always just take it and flip it around and stick it in this direction. And then you could film backwards and get your car in, in, in footage and stuff like that. I was using, like, a clamp like this and just clamping onto my tail, you know, or clamping onto my shock tower. And, but it's still, any little bit of movement it just it, it just creates wobble you want it to be as firm and stable as possible and i can't think of a better way than to do that plus i like the fact that you can put it in and take it out real quick you know that's kind of nice so yeah perfect i mean yeah i mean you could actually use something besides bolts i that's just what i had um yeah typhon's been doing good i got to get her out there and do some jumps with it First, I'm going to check this camera. This is like a GoPro Hero 5, and it's always jittery. It, it, it doesn't, it's not really good for action, but I got it set at 1080, um, 80 frames per second, and I'm going to run it and see how it, how it looks with the road, you know. A, a Hero 8 or a Hero 9, those work perfect. I mean, pretty much perfect for an inexpensive camera. But yeah, that's it, man. Let's get it out there and run it. I wanted to see how well the Hero 5 would do in slow motion or just in regular motion. It didn't seem to do too good. It's way too jittery. I don't think it's even usable. Okay, I'm running with my Hero 8 and it's doing a lot better. You don't get all that jittery weirdness and everything seems to be a lot cleaner. This is at 4K, uh, 60 frames a second. Okay, here I'm using the Hero 8 again. I'm running at 1080p, 240 frames per second, and I slowed it down four times um, to equal 60 frames a second. And it seems like it came out pretty good. Everything's pretty clean. Okay, so this next clip is at 33% of speed, so it'll be looking just like that.
Okay, so I lost the drive shaft on this run. Usually don't break anything, but that's what broke. It broke off right inside the, uh, whew, right inside the diff. I mean, it's broke off totally. It's blind still in there. I don't know how hard that's going to be to fix. But I'm going to limp her on home with three wheels, I think, to see what happens. I mean, it still goes okay. It'll get me home. All right, guys, there's more damage than what I thought. Look at that uh, link there, how bent it is. Pretty bad, huh? And then here's my drive shaft. Like I said, bust it off inside the diff, you know, the spline on the, on the diff. I'll have to pull that all apart. But yeah, that's pretty bad. And then, I don't know how or why, but it put a divot in the in the body. I put a hole right there, it looks like the gun shot it. See where that sets. Way over there, so that was actually caused by this. Yeah, by the body post. I don't know. It something something got jammed in there, man. Up in here. It looks like it hit from this direction though. So it hit from this direction and sheared out the drive shaft. Weird. Going backwards. Who knows what it landed on? Anyways, that's the damage. Actually it doesn't even drive much worse than it did with four wheels. Three wheels is all you need, man. Alright guys, like and subscribe or at least hit the bell. That'd be cool. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching.